Here we're going to be looking at the concurrencies of a triangle. Now three lines are said to be concurrent, three straight lines that is, if they pass through a point i.e. they meet at one point and we're going to look at three different points at which they meet and we're going to look at how to solve for those points using coordinate geometry. We're going to be using geometry and algebra to solve for those points of intersection of three lines. So the three concurrencies we're looking at are the centroid, the circumcenter and the orthocenter to start with. So first of all the centroid is a point at which three medians lie and a median is a line that joins the vertex, which is the corner of a triangle, to the midpoint of the opposite side. So this point here is my centroid. The circumcenter of a triangle then is the point at which the perpendicular bisectors of a triangle meet. Each of these lines here, the navy, the blue and the purple, bisect the edges of the triangle at 90 degrees. So this point is the circumcenter. It's worth noting that at the circumcenter of a triangle that point is the center of a circle which touches each of the three vertices and the distance so between the circumcenter and the vertice is the radius. The last one we meet then is the orthocenter and this is point of intersection of the altitudes of the triangle which we will discuss in a little bit. So just to recap, the centroid point of intersection between the three medians, that is the points which go from the vertice to the midpoint of the opposite side. Circumcenter is the point of intersection of three mediators, that is the point of intersection between the perpendicular bisectors of each edge. And the orthocenter is the point of intersection of the three altitudes. So, how to find a circumcenter? Well, we know it's a point of intersection between three lines. And we find a point of intersection using simultaneous equations of the line. So, if we know the equation of the line, let's say L1, and the equation of the line L2, then the circumcenter will be the point of intersection of those two lines. So, all we need to do is know the equation of a line, and we know that the formula is in the tables, where x1 and y1 are just a point on the line, and m is the slope. Well, if I'm looking for L1, for example, the point on L1 that I know, well, the point for L1 would be the midpoint of AB. Midpoint of AB, we just get from the formula in the tables, the x is added together divided by 2, and the y is added together divided by 2. And the slope, which is m of AB, is going to be the perpendicular slope of AB. So we can just do some maths to rearrange this. If two lines are perpendicular, then the slopes multiply together to give minus 1. So if AB and L1 are perpendicular, and we know the slope of AB, because I can just use the formula to find the slope of AB, using its x and y value, difference in the y's over difference in the x's, if that's perpendicular to L1, then the slope of L1 will be minus the reciprocal of the slope of AB. So I know the slope of L1 I know a point on L1 because it's a midpoint, so I can work out the equation of L1. I do the same thing, but to L2 or to L3, and then I just use simultaneous equations to work out the point of intersection, which is the circumcenter. The last concurrency we look at there is the orthocenter. How to find the orthocenter? Well, we know it's going to be the point of intersection of three altitudes. Think of an altitude, think of getting a triangle and standing it vertically from the ground. If you swing a pendulum from A, let's just say, and it hits the ground vertically, that is an altitude. If you turn the triangle around then and do the same things from, and do the same thing from C, that's another altitude. So we know that this point can be gotten from the points of intersection of either L1, L2 or L3. So how do we find the point of section? How do we find the point of intersection then? We just need to know the equations of L1 and L2 are any two of the lines. Okay, for the point of intersection then we need, so for the equations of the lines, we know we need the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we need a point in the lines. Well, the point is easy enough because it's the vertice. The slope of the line then is easy enough because it's perpendicular to BC. So we find the slope the same way we found the slope in the previous one. We find the slope of BC, i.e. the circumcenter. We find the slope of BC 
and then get minus the reciprocal of this slope and it gives us the slope of L1 because they're perpendicular. There is one other concurrency that we look at, but it's we solve it geometrically. It's called the in-center. It's when you can draw a circle that touches the sides of the triangle. What we need to do there is find a bisector of an angle, and we do that using geometry. If we find the bisector of an angle, the three bisectors intersect at the in-center, but we're not going to use coordinate geometry to solve that.